Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the timeless tales and profound friendships that light up the pages of history and faith. Today, we delve into the story of Elijah and Elisha, a bond that transcends time and teaches us the essence of divine companionship. Join us as we uncover the layers of their journey together, and how it inspires us to forge friendships that bring us closer to the greater truths of life. Stay tuned, and let's embark on this celestial voyage together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening stories like this one. The Bible, a book that's like a treasure chest, is packed with amazing tales about people and their relationships. It's not just about families or couples, but it also shines a light on friendships. These stories of friendship are scattered all over the Bible, from the first page to the last. God, the creator of everything, wants us to form bonds with others. He doesn't just want us to have family ties or marriages, but also friendships that are deep and lasting. These friendships aren't just for fun, they're a part of God's plan for us. A true friend is like a sturdy tree that gives shade on a hot day. They're there for us when we need help, they share our joy when we're happy, and they offer a shoulder to lean on when we're sad. This kind of friendship is a precious gift, a blessing from God himself. So, let's cherish our friends, just like the precious gifts they are. Once upon a time, in the sun-drenched fields of a farm, a young man named Alicia was hard at work. His hands were rough from the plow he held, and his brow was sweaty under the hot sun. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a stranger appeared. This was no ordinary man, but the prophet Elijah. With a swift motion, Elijah draped his prophet's cloak over Elisha. It was a symbolic gesture, a divine calling that Elisha immediately understood. Even though they were complete strangers, Elisha felt a powerful urge to follow Elijah. He knew in his heart that this was God's plan. Elijah and Elisha became fast friends. The length of their friendship is not known, but it was long enough for Elisha, the younger prophet, to inherit the spiritual legacy of his friend. Elijah was a unique figure in the Bible, the only person who ascended to heaven without experiencing death first. This was a testament to his faith and devotion to God. In the book of 2 Kings 2 verse 2, we learn that Elijah wanted to ascend to heaven alone. He told Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has told me to go to Bethel. But Elisha was steadfast in his loyalty. He replied, as surely as the Lord lives, and you yourself live, I will never leave you. So, they journeyed together to Bethel. Upon their arrival, a miraculous event unfolded. Elisha watched as a great whirlwind swept Elijah up into the heavens. A chariot and horses of fire appeared, and Elijah was taken up to heaven. Elisha was the sole witness of this divine spectacle. He was not a person of influence or power, he was just a young man who had answered God's call. Throughout his life, Elijah had faced many adversaries who doubted his legitimacy as a prophet of God. But when God chose to bring him to heaven without experiencing death, it was a divine vindication of his prophethood. Elisha, his faithful friend, was privileged to witness this moment. He was there to testify to God's mighty power and the blessings bestowed upon Elijah. Elisha's unwavering loyalty to Elijah is a testament to the power of friendship. He did not let Elijah go to Bethel alone, showing that friends stand by each other in times of need. Holy friendships, like the one between Elijah and Elisha, bring us closer to God. They are a source of support, comfort, and companionship. We need such holy friends in our lives, friends who will stand by us just as Christ stands by his believers. So, let's cherish these friendships and recognize them for what they truly are, a gift from God. As we conclude our journey through the celestial saga of Elijah and Elisha on Celestial Chronicles, let's ponder the essence of their divine friendship. Have you ever experienced a friendship that lifted you higher, closer to your beliefs and values? Just like Elisha, who witnessed Elijah's heavenly ascent, we too can be uplifted by the holy bonds we form. What does a holy friendship mean to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's discuss how these sacred connections influence our lives. Remember, like Alicia, we all have the potential to carry forward the legacy of those who inspire us. Thank you for joining us on this celestial exploration. If you're inspired by the story of Elijah and Alicia, hit the like button, subscribe to Celestial Chronicles, and stay tuned for more tales that connect us with the divine. What story of friendship would you like us to explore next? Let us know. And together, let's continue to discover the friendships that shape our spiritual journey.